What's up guys, Alp27HD here bringing you another player review, a FIFA Ultimate Team 13 player review. So let's jump straight in and have a look at who we are reviewing. So as you can see from the banner, we are reviewing Big Bad Denver Bar, Newcastle's finest. He has gone up in price a lot, I paid 7k for the big man and he is now up to what, 12 on the PS3, around 10 or 11 on the Xbox. So he is going up in price and I do not blame him for going up in price i built a team you'll see the team in a couple of minutes um or a minute or so i built the team around uh ben arthur and oxley chamberlain i wasn't expecting to really be reviewing the striker i picked bar because he looked like a decent prospect he got good chem off uh, ben arthur etc etc but he was really just a target man for me i wasn't thinking he was going to be that good jesus christ he is a fucking machine i mean he is his his stats are decent as you can see on the uh, on the banner decent stats that's the team I'm playing him in by the way guys skulls Kagawa Fellaini etc uh, etc et you can see the team on the screen uh, three star skills three star weak foot skills aren't a big factor he doesn't have to trick his way past people he's got very good dribbling at 80 um, and a reasonable sprint speed at 85 um, big thing he has in his arsenal is his strength of 90 this makes a massive, massive difference. You'll see from the goals footage uh, coming up in a few minutes, he is a strong, strong player. So the weak foot is a bit of a disappointment, although I did score some nice goals with his weak foot, and they did go in, as long as you don't have to you know, power them, as long as you're not trying to score screamers from 40 yards with his weak foot, then you won't have too many problems. I'm going to stick his in-game stats on the screen, guys. I'm not going to parrot fashion them to you, but you can see his main six super-duper stats on on the banner 87 finishing combined with 90 shot power what that means on obviously 83 long shots as well combine that with the 90 strength the sprint speed the shot power the finishing the dribbling which is okay and the long shots and you get a real handful for defenders anyone that's a reasonably low rated defender you know i've been coming up against people that are like seven uh eight you know 76 77 78 couple of 81s 82s that sort of thing and they just cannot handle this guy at all he muscles them off the ball he controls play um he is a really, really good player. As you can see here, Denver Bar just skips past him, doesn't need the five-star skills, just needs a slight change of direction, and it is in the back of the net. I've not bothered doing replays on many of these because there was a reasonable amount of goals scored. As you can see here, he's not at first to sliding in and knocking it in. I don't think that was a tramp. We'll get away with classing that as not a tramp. As you can see, the long shots again, just really good shot power. The problem is you can man the shot power with the long shots and the keeper struggles to get across to it, as you can see there. By the time the ball is hit, it is already in the back of the net. Keeper is struggling. Maybe the likes of Joe Hart or Cassie Ass would have a chance. But um, your average keeper, your average Joe Bullocks on the street, your Tim Howards, that kind of thing, aren't going to have a chance against this guy. He's also a very good little poacher of the ball. But mainly it's his strength. Combining, you know, the strength, the shot power, etc. He just seems to place the ball beautifully well also. Um, I really like the guy. Um, if you can get him for, say, 10k, pick him up. He is well worth it. Little dinky finesse there. Um, but I think he is well worth adding to your collection. So we're going to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it a Denver bar an 8.5 out of 10. So he's not getting the full 9, but I'm not, you know... I think it's early days to do reviews, it is tricky, but the big reasons I am giving him 8.5 out of 10, he has a killer shot on him, I mean, wow, a real killer shot, very, very strong, 90 shot power, let down a little bit by his weak foot and his skills being only 3 star, but... I don't think he's going to be one of those super expensive players. We're not talking about him being like Aguero kind of money, um, which means that he is going to be affordable to most people. Even if he creeps up to 15, 20K, he will be affordable to most people. And most people that are making a BPL side could go a lot worse than putting Denver Bar in it. If you can add to that Ben Arthur on the right, and uh, maybe Kabai behind him, you're going to have yourself a decent little team. So hopefully you enjoyed the review, guys. Please like, sub, comment, take care of yourselves, and as always, catch you later.